Okay, factor, 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 factoring more of these. Just kind of introduce another pattern. Um, we got the same old things that I told you before. Try to get a common, ooh, hello, common monomial factor. In other words, get the GCF out of there. So 8x and 16 both have the greatest common factor of 8. Divide them all by 8. It could be the difference of two squares. They're perfect square roots. Then it factors with the same numbers there, x and 3, with just a plus and minus in between them. You could just guess and check. Or it could be a perfect square trinomial where they're not the difference of two squares, but they are perfect squares, and they get you the exact same thing twice. Now, a couple of new patterns would be these two special cases. One that is the difference of two perfect cubes. Now, perfect cubes would be anything you could take the cube root of and get a whole number, just like perfect squares. Um, 1, 8, 27, 64, 81. Okay, just to kind of name a few. I take that back on 81. I'm not so sure about that one. Uh, but anyways, I'm looking to see what to the third power gives me x to the third, x. What to the third gives me 8, and that's 2. So when I'm putting in these A's and B's, this is my A and this is my B. So if it's different, it's A minus B, so X minus 2, X squared plus 2X plus 2 squared, which is 4, right? 2 squared is 4, okay? Um, if it is the sum... Three to the third is 27. Two X squared gives you X to the squared. So this whole thing, both of these would be your A and your B. So it's two X plus three. It's two X to the second power minus two X times your three and three squared. So two X plus three, four X squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay. Um, the pattern I go off of is I go with the signs. So same sign, opposite sign, and that is going to always be positive. So I start off with minus. So same sign, it's minus. Opposite of minus is plus, and this last one's always positive. So that is the sum or difference of two squares, or cubes rather, and you'd use that in the perfect cubes. Um, this is just a little bit of review of what we did. So like x plus 2 and x plus 2 or x plus 2 squared. Difference of squares. So x plus 2, x minus 2. Here I'm just going to guess and check. First factor, x and x. Factors of 4, they will add up to be 3. So I'll go plus 4, minus 1. Change the signs around, and I'll go minus 4, plus 1. Here I'm going to take out a greatest common factor first. Oops, should be minus. And that's also the difference of 2 squares. And then here I can take out a 3. x squared minus 2x plus 1. And factor that more, get x minus 1 and x minus 1, or x minus 1 squared with a 3 out cup. Alright, so here, the sum of two cubes, because 5 to the third power gets you 125, x to the third power gets you there, so 5 plus x. Okay. Then it's a squared, so 5 squared which is 25. Multiply those three together get 5x, and then x to the second power. But, it should be same and the opposite, so that's gonna be a minus. So, x minus three, x squared minus three x, and then plus three squared, nine. So started with a minus, so I start with a minus. Um, opposite, so that should be a plus, and then the last one's always positive. Take out our greatest common factor here. Looks like they're both divisible by a. 
So 64, a to the third minus 27. Okay. There's four a to the third, and there's three to the third. So four a minus three. Now it's here it's become 16 because you have to square the four. And this becomes a squared because you have to square the a minus okay, 12 a. But again, if it starts off as minus, the next one's plus. And then the last one is always squared. Okay, down here, I have got tons and tons and tons of practice. You kind of pick through the ones okay, for the different cubes and you can keep on doing those. I want to talk about if it's to the fourth power. So they're both divisible by 2x squared. And I get x to the second minus 100. Okay, this isn't cubes, so that's okay, but they are squares. So x minus 10, x plus 10. There you go. Um, just because there's a binomial doesn't mean that it's going to be the difference or sum of two cubes now. It could still be the difference of two squares. Okay, here, x to the fourth. I want them to add up to be x squared, so my factors of x to the fourth are going to be x squared and x squared. Now, what are the factors of negative 24 that add up to be by 5? plus eight minus three. Okay, again, um, I've got a bunch of other ones here. Like for example, we got the factor by grouping. If there's two of them, I'm sorry, four terms or a polynomial, I'll group two at a time. Take out a nine x to the second and get x plus two. I need an x plus two out of the second one, so I divide the back side by negative four. Get nine x squared minus four. And we got x plus 2. Oh, here. These two difference are two squares. 3x plus 2. 3x minus 2. And again, x plus 2. Okay. So, there we go. Factor, factor, factor some more. There's some more factor by grouping on here that you can try out. I got my notes solutions on the PDF as well. Um, but again, practice will only help you out. Um, if this video wasn't enough, go to YouTube. Get a bunch of other videos to watch as well.